So people are talking about this whole bullying issue, right? And they're talking about it and stuff, but fuck all that noise. Let me tell you something real simple here about this equation. There's no excuse for bullying. What? Yeah, that's the end. Oh, but what about the fact that kids are taught lessons and they overcome that shit, right? And they become better people. Well, alright, that does happen in a minority of cases. Many people just have their self-confidence shattered forever because of bullying and they think that they're worthless, they get into abusive relationships, they... all sorts of bad things happen. But, all right, there are those minority people who use it to better themselves. You know, I endured quite a bit of bullying in my very younger days. I used it to become a better person. I have good friends, all that stuff, and I'm here talking to you. Obviously, I have some self-confidence. But, again, minority of cases. And we can actually push all of those cases aside because that's irrelevant. You want to know why? There are better ways to teach children self-confidence than putting them through the ringer. Kids can learn about fire, right? Because they have to. Fire is dangerous, so kids should know about it. There's two ways to do this, though. The kid can either stick his hand on a hot stove and burn himself, or he can be told not to do that and learn by his parents teaching him. And, you know, it can be argued that, yeah, putting the hand on the stove is a more visceral lesson. The kid won't forget that again, will he? Ha ha ha. Well, you know what? That's a barbaric way to teach something. When you have another method, why do the painful one? It's like, okay, you can teach kids about bullying by having them bully. Or you can sit down and teach them, you know, with words and lessons like civilized human beings. We have a language, we have a society, education, culture, and yet we're somehow still stuck on this idea that kids have to beat the crap out of each other in play school so that they can get out, you know, and be better people. What? That doesn't even make sense. Because... We're an educated species now, right? We, we teach people things without beating them. That was a thing we decided for schools, right? We don't hit kids anymore with paddles. Same idea. You could stick your kid's hand in a fire, right? You know, hey, you need to teach him about fire. Stick his hand in there. I'll teach him a lesson. We've already established that it's more visceral and it sticks when the kid sticks his hand in the stove, right? Better way to teach? No. Parents aren't going to be sticking their kid's hand in fire so that they learn that fire's hot. Because, in reality, we all know that that's a brutal and harsh way to teach a kid that could have lasting consequences. So why are we doing this with bullying? Why are we trying to sit here and say that, oh, well, it's good for them, they'll toughen up, or it'll, it'll build character. You know, that's making excuses for a bullying culture. That's all it's doing. It's not helping kids, really. The few that are helped, they still could have been helped another way. They still could have been helped without the bullying. You know, an adult could have done their job, perhaps, and taught them lessons about life and the universe, like adults should do for the next generation, prepare them for the future. Nah, we can just throw them out into the uh, playgrounds and all of that and just let them get bullied and stuff. That'll build character. No, that's stupid. It's all stupid and it's wrong. It's morally reprehensible because we have other ways of preparing children for the world than throwing them to the bullies. You know, it's like, all right, in the end, so can, should we train our soldiers by actually taking them through first age training, you know, like through first world training and giving them resources and all that? Or should we just throw them out in the wilderness naked and say, you'd better survive, come back when you're ready? We have evolved. We have developed better ways of doing things. And because of that, we put the bad ways away and we say we're done with them now. And in my book, and I hope everyone else's book, we can all agree that bullying and that whole idea that it builds character and is somehow positive is an archaic idea that we should just put on the shelf. A, a remnant of a past time before we knew better. Let it be done. Let us stop bullying. I mean, I don't know exactly how we're going to do that, and that's an issue all on its own, but let's work on that instead of justifying abuse of children. That's not something to think about. That's something to do.